you look at the authors of the papers that I listed, most of them are deceased. Grimes, um, Rainey, they're deceased. All the technical skill is gone. And I'm reading ORNL documents fiendishly to try and go, okay, I think I haven't did that. I think I haven't did that. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I don't have anybody to talk to. <laughs> we had a corpus of people in Oak Ridge who knew how to do this in the mid-1970s. They're literally dead and gone now. I've met a handful of them. They're in their 80s. Uh, you know, they're not going to do this anymore. Well, Beecher's been dead for a long time. How about Paul? Paul, I have not had any contact with him, so I don't know. <laughs> you don't get taught this stuff in nuclear engineering school. You know, I, I said one time in an online talk, you could get a PhD in nuclear engineering and never learn about this stuff. I got an email a few weeks ago. Kurt, I just saw your talk. I want you to know I just graduated from Purdue with my PhD in nuclear engineering. And I want to tell you, you're absolutely right. I have never heard of this stuff before. And he goes, I want to tell you, it's even worse than that because he goes, I'm totally a student of nuclear history. He goes, I'm so geeked out on nuclear history. And I've never heard of this. How did I not hear this? He goes, it's great though. He goes, you're absolutely right. This is top-notch stuff they did and we should be working on it right now. But it's absolutely possible for you to go through a normal curriculum and never learn about this.